If you focus on result, you will never change. If you focus on change, you will get result. Good morning children. Hello. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and staying safely in your home. I am your computer science teacher, Ms. Rafat Zaheen. Today I am here to teach you computer subject. This is my first video. Before starting, first of all, I want to show you the computer book. So this is the computer book. See, IT apps, KIPS publication of class 5. See it nicely. Hope you all have purchased your books. Next is, see the contents. The contents are same. Okay. Today we will start chapter 1. The name of the chapter is Evolution of Computers. Name of the chapter is Evolution of Computers. Now, I think you all are very much familiar with computer and I, and I hope many of you are practicing also in your home, right? Okay, before starting the chapter, I'll tell you something more about computer. Okay, first, starting from the definition of computer, any, uh, I think all of you know what is computer. Yes, what is computer? Computer is an electronic device or machine which accepts data and instructions given by the user, processes them accordingly and gives the meaningful result. So, what computer is doing here? The number one is takes in data and instructions means it is taking in data and instructions by the help of input device second works with data works with data by processing it by the help of CPU and third is puts out information puts out information by the help of output device understood Okay, so computer works by the help of software and hardware. Next, next is characteristics of computer. There are many characteristics of computer. Some of the characteristics are number one, speed, second, versat vers uh, versatility, storage, automation, accuracy, reliability speed first one is speed a speed is a very fast device it takes very few seconds to perform its work versatility it refers to the capability of a computer to perform different kinds of works with same accuracy and efficiency okay third is storage so what is storage computer stores all the data with appropriate format that is storage next is automation so what is automation computer performs all the tasks automatically that is called automation next is accuracy means computer gives hundred percent accuracy means accurate result next is reliability a computer is reliable as it gives consistent result. For example, if we give same set of input of any number of times, we will get the same result. Got it? So these are the characteristics of computer. Next is working cycle of computer. As you can see, input, process, output. Okay, this is also called IPO cycle also called IPO cycle so input we are inputting the data by the help of input device into computer for example keyboard mouse these are the example of input device and we are inputting the data next it process the data by the help of CPU. CPU is processing the data which is given by the user. After processing the data, it gives out the result to the output device and the examples are monitor, speaker, printer, 
Okay, so this is the working cycle of computer. So now come to the chapter. Now I will start the chapter that is evolution of computer. In this chapter, we will study the history of computers. What we will study? History of computers. Many histories. In this, we will study about the device name and the inventor name. Okay. The first one is Abacus. The first one is Abacus. Abacus Abacus is the first known calculating device used for counting. Used for counting. It is made of beads and rods. And Abacus is mainly used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Next is Napier's Bones. In 1617 AD, Napier's Bones was invented by John Napier. John Napier. He made a calculating device, a set of bones consisting of nine rods. Okay, it is mainly used for this device is mainly used for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and to find square roots. Okay, next is Pascal adding machine. All these machines are in your book you can see go through it see in your book everything is given there okay so next is pascal adding machine in 1642 pascal adding machine was invented by blaise pascal it was the first mechanical calculator used to perform addition and subtraction next is Leibniz calculator in 1671 Leibniz calculator was invented by Leibniz used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and to find square roots. Now next is difference engine and analytical engine. In 1822 AD difference engine and in 1833 AD anal analytical engine. It was built by Charles Babbage, British mathematician and engineer. Charles Babbage is called the father of computer. And all of you know who is the father of computer? Charles Babbage. Next one is Hollerith tabulating machine. See the device? See the picture? So in 1890 Hollerith tabulating machine was invented by Dr. Herman Hollerith. It was designed by using punched cards. Next is Lady Augustara Lovelace. She considered as the first programmer who suggested binary digits 0 and 1. And all of you know what are binary digits? Okay, 0 and 1 are called binary digits. Next, George Boole. He solved the binary digits. He solved the binary digit that is 1 for positive answer and 0 for negative answer. Next, John Van Neumann. He developed the software written in binary code. Next, Mark 1. In 1944, Howard Aiken developed the first automatic sequence controller calculator called Mark 1. Next is ENIAC. Stands for Electronic Numeric Integrator and Calculator. It is the first general purpose electronic digital computer developed by John Moshley and J. Presper Eckert. Who developed this? John Moshley and J. Presper Eckert. Next is UNIVAC. Stands for Universal Automatic Computer. It is the first commercial electronic computer developed by John Moshley and J. Presper Eckert. Got it? So, these are the inventors name who developed the machines in the respective era. Learn all these nicely. All these inventor names along with the machine name. If the era is given, learn the era also. If not given, 
no problem but learn all these nicely now i'll give you some homework which you have to do in your computer copy you have to make single line copy write with pen neatly and nicely i'll upload that homework in your assignment go through it uh, if any problem you can ask okay go through it do your homework nicely and okay so i'll upload the second video very soon thank you thank you all of you thank you